Uh, wipe your hand on my okay, jacket. I have yeah, you just feel a little damp. Okay. So we'll start with the copper. Which most people know the copper color because it's kind of one that gets used a lot. It's cool. It's green. <laughs> and then we also have sodium. Sodium chloride, which is table salt. That is yellow. Yeah, yellow orangey. It's hard to drink this one. Okay, and then also another household product you can use is substitute salt. Which, actually, I'm not doing these in the order. I should do them in order so I don't kill myself. <laughs> we'll come back to the substitute what, salt. What, what, Megan? Yeah. Which one? The, is it, are you trying to go for that far corner? Yeah, I thought uh, this one. Uh, that one? Yeah. That is substitute salt, potassium, oh, and it glows purple. Lilac. Lilac. <laughs> Lilac. Um, another one of the favorite ones that we used uh, last year was boric acid, which glows a green color too. Mm. It's more of a yellow green color. And then, man, yeah, most of the other ones. Your favorite is strontium. Yes, I love strontium because it's strawberry. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. It is pretty. Um, and then another nice one is lithium, which I think it also glows. Kind yeah, it's more like a magenta in the red. Do you want another stick? Yeah, I think that's what they want. Thank you. And then we have magnesium. It should glow white. Yeah, with the uh, methanol in it, you're going to see just that nice, clean burn. It's going to have a little bit of a blue hint from the methanol, um, but will be a nice, clean fire. Okay. And then the last two that we have. Calcium, which is nice and orange, and then barium. I don't remember what color barium burns. Is it the BA2 plus I brought or the stuff? The uh, BA2 that you brought. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Mm. <laughs> and before CG, how they did cool fire and death and destruction in movies. <laughs> The best part about these is you can pretty much just add more methanol. And light them up again. Yeah. But you don't add methanol while there's still fire anywhere near them. <laughs> you wind up burning the pixie wings on the fourth grader sitting near you. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that. <laughs> I used to invite lower school kids to come down for a demo day, and I would do some of the Halloween things. And I really, really, really thought they were all out, and one of them was still just really hot. And I hit it, and it sparked, so I just twitched just the tiniest little bit, and they were dressed up in costumes for some reason. <laughs> um, and this little fourth grader in her little pixie wings, right in front of me, her pixie wings were there, and then they weren't. <laughs> and she was a little terrified, but all of her friends thought it was the coolest thing ever, and once she got over the whole, oh my god, I almost died, except she didn't, but she thought she did, um, she realized that she was really cool. <laughs> because she got to participate in the science. Even if it was participating by being nearly injured. <laughs> 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 That's my end experiment. Yeah.